Hello, I'm Ibrahim Ofori, and in this video, I will take you through how to solve exams practice questions on permutation and combinations. Okay, so let's start. So, what is permutation and combination? Where do they come from? Okay, so we are supposed to know what we call the fun fundamental principle of counting. Okay. Or simply the multiplication principle okay so in other words all these combination and permutation they resulted from what counting okay so the multiplication principle multiplication principle states that if an event can occur in m different ways following which another event can occur in n, n different ways then the total number of occurrence of the two events in the given order is m times n so here a certain you have a main event okay and within the event there's an m different ways of some part of it of the event happening and there's also an n different ways of some part of the event happening then the, to the total number of occurrence of the main event is given as the product of m and n this is what we call the multiplication principle so let's look at an example and then you really understand that okay find the number of letter words okay so you're supposed to find a number of letter words with or without meaning which can be formed out of the letters of the word rows where the repetition of the letters is not allowed okay so you are supposed to rearrange the letter the word rows to form other no ways so in how many ways can we do that okay now think about this if i'm to let's say um start the numbers with any of these okay and then the first position we have here the first position we have r o s e you have four positions okay so here if I'm to rearrange this to form another word, it means that this R can be at the first position, this O also can be at the first position, S can also be there, E can. So, how many arrangements can we do for the first position? We have four different um, letters that we can arrange them here. So, it means that the um, number of ways of doing for the first position is four. Okay, so let's let's look at the solution now they are saying that repetition is not allowed and because of this it means that if i pick one of the letters to represent the first position then i'll be left with four minus um one four minus one which will be three to choose for the second position and if i choose one for the second position any of them then i'll be left with two then this okay so that is how it is okay Let's look at the question two. Given four flags of different colors, okay, how many different signals can be generated? If a signal requires the use of two flags, one below the other, okay. So you have four flags. Let's say the flags of um, Ghana, Benin, Cote d'Ivoire, and let's say Nigeria, okay. And you want to form a signal, and the signal requires the use of two flags. So it means every signal is unique you should know this that every signal should be unique so um if i'm to arrange the four flags okay for the first you are saying that the signal requires two flags okay so the position for the signal will be what only two so the first position we can put any of the flags there so the first position has a chance to take any of the four flags then the second position will actually take three because um, we are forming signal which requires the use of two flags one below the other it means we can't use identical flags okay so that is it now if that is the case then number of ways of doing for the first position in the signal is what four and number of ways of doing in the second position or the second um using the second flag is what three and from the principle of multiplication, we are saying that we can 
multiply the two happenings okay and that will be our solution for the whole of this question i hope you understand right so you find a number of ways of doing for the first signal or the um because signal the signal here is using two flags so if let's say i'm to name the positions to be let's say position one and position two then at position one how many flags can like uh, flags can be there okay so up at position two how many flags can also be there okay so let's continue so that is it for multiplication principle let's look at permutation we need multiplication principle to do permutation and combinations so please i'll urge you to you know and really understand the multiplication principle okay so permutation a permutation is a permutation is an arrangement in a definite order of a number of objects taking some or all at a time i'm taking this again a permutation is an arrangement in a definite order look at this a definite order of a number of objects taking some or all at a time okay so let's say i have a number of objects let's say i have three brothers and i want to arrange them i want to arrange them on some seats but i want to take like take into consideration the elder brother you know the middle one and the last one okay i hope you understand so if i'm doing that and i'm considering order the way i'll arrange them then it means i'm doing what we call permutation okay so let's look at the formula the number of permutations of n different objects taking r at a time is given by the formula n permutation r and this is equal to the fraction n factorial over n minus one of sorry n minus r of factorial okay so like i said if let's say i want to arrange um four brothers on a seat where the seat has only two or or they can we have only two seats available okay and i have four brothers to arrange them on it it means i then n here will be hot for and the number of seats required or, or available will be r, r okay so it'll be like four permutation two and that is we have four brothers to arrange them and we, we can't arrange four brothers on two c2 so we take two of them at a time okay that is what the definition means now the factorial here means that if i have n factorial is the same as n times you reduce n by one n minus one times then you continue to reduce n by two n minus two you go for it n minus three so you get to a point that you subtract something from n and you get two and subtract something from n you get one then you don't continue again let's take an example for you to understand so five factorial means that i write this is the n yeah here n is what five so i write my n first i write five then n minus one five minus one is what four times n minus two five minus two is what three five minus then you continue you subtract from five start counting and subtracting from five till you get to a point that you subtract and you get the last number to be one so here five minus four will give me what two sorry five minus three will give me two five minus four will give me what one so once i reach one i stop and i multiply all these and this is what 120 okay so five factorial is actually 120 all right let's continue now if i have four factorial same thing happens to this just write four reduce it by one so i get to a time that after reducing i'll get one multiply all everything and i'll get what 24 okay three factorial is six you can actually you can point all these on a calculator okay you can point these on a calculator two factorial is two one factorial is one but note this zero factorial is one here the proof will come later okay i'll prove this but not in this video okay so from this we can see clearly that if you have n factorial is the same as n times n minus one factorial this is true let's see something what is four factorial here four factorial is four times three times two times one look at five factorial five factorial is the same as five times four times three look at this from here up to this one is it not the same as this and this four factorial is the same as saying that four factorial is the same as five minus one all factorial because five minus one will give me four 
so it's like five this five factorial here is equal to the five times five minus one factorial and five minus one factorial is four factorial and that will give me all these so if you have any n it's factorial is the same as n times n minus one factorial okay and if i have n factorial to the same thing i can continue and say this this is also true because if i take five factorial five minus one is what four and the next is for three times two times one look at three times two times one it's the same as three factorial so this is the same as this side this side okay is the same as this three is the same as five minus two and that is n minus two all for five minus two is three and this factorial will give me the whole of these so take notes and note them uh, carefully okay all right let's start with the main problem and questions on this topic permutation so you are you are supposed to evaluate seven factorial okay so you know you can point this on a calculator you point shift then you press your there's this exclamation mark on on the calculator somewhere i think just below uh, the mode settings or something like that but you can point this on the calculator or if you don't know just become seven times six times five times four times three times two times one and that will give me five thousand and forty ten factorial will also give me this number okay now look at this in how many ways can the letters a b c be arranged taking two at a time let's go back to our formula and see he said the number of permutation of n different objects taking r at a time is given by this so this is n permutation r and this is the formula okay so we see we look at it we have three of them how many how many letters do we have here? we have three count them three and we are taking how many two at a time so our n is three and our r is what two so this becomes three permutation two and this is the same as three factorial which is oh there's a huge mistake here there shouldn't be any two here okay please um, forgive me so three factorial is actually six then three minus two will give me one which is one factorial is one so i guess this over one which is six you can even point this on a calculator as well the same thing happens to that okay it comes um shift you point your three first then after that i'm coming let me let me show you um hold on. i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry all right so you point your three first and you point shift and um i think um be i think around the ac or something like that there is the ac key on a calculator there is this p which is orange color okay so i'm point three then shift that the, that key with that orange p color then it will call for permutation and you point two this will give you six all right now in how many ways can the letters math be arranged okay in how many ways can the letters mass be arranged look at this here they just said mass so it means if you are to arrange this you take them and take all of them at a time i hope you get it or you can also say that okay fine i have mass how many are they i have one two three four five if i'm arranging this order is very important okay um if i pick let's say m to start first there's no way m will come at the second position okay i have they are five okay so it's like you're arranging them in such a way that the first place position any of them can take so you have five ways of doing that in the second place four of them can take the position because after selecting one for the first I'll, I'll be reduced by four and third one i'll get three of them fourth i'll get two of them and the last i'll get one two happen for that position and then since we know the multiplication principle we say we multiply what you have five four three two and one and you get 120 this is the same as saying that you are arranging this taking all of them at a time so you just arrange them once just like that so it becomes five permutation five which will give me five factorial okay five permutation five is the same as five factorial over 5 minus 5 all factorial and 5 minus 5 factorial is what 0 factorial 
Twelve factorial is also one. So it becomes five factorial over one, which is the same as five factorial. Okay. Let's continue. In how many ways can ten people be seated on a bench if only four seats are available? So I have ten people and I want to arrange them on a bench. Okay. I want to arrange them so that they will sit on a bench. But here we have only four seats available. So I can only do four first four and take the second four. I can reshuffle them. So it means that um, among the 10 people, I can take four of them at a time and give them the seat. Okay, so in doing this, we call for permutation. And so this becomes what 10 permutation, what four? And that is equal to 5,040. Okay. Now let's look at some permutations here. Permutations with identical objects. Okay. Sometimes you'll be given some permutations and then you find out that some objects are identical how do you go about that okay so the number of permutations of n objects taken all at a time when a of the objects are identical and same and also b of them are identical and same and then c of the of them are identical and same and the rest different then this formula, the formula for arranging such a problem is given by n factorial over the first number, um, the first object that is identical factorial. The number of objects, okay, that are identical, let's say A, if A is identical one, then you count them. The number of A objects, you find a factorial. The number of B objects, you find a factorial. And C objects, find a factorial. So it becomes n factorial over a factorial b factorial c factorial so this means you are multiplying them okay so example let's see in how many ways can the letters of the word maximum be arranged when all are taken at a time okay so looking at maximum i have m here let's count the numbers first i have one two three four five six and seven you have seven numbers here or we, say we have seven number of letters here okay now the letters m are repeating okay so they are the same so going by this formula there is no other letter or element that is repeating here so how many of the m's are repeating you have three so the formula for this or the number of ways of arranging the letters of this is given by seven factorial over the object number of objects let's say m m is the identical one okay so you count the number of m's in this then you find a factorial of it so it becomes seven factorial over three factorial okay and this is very cool right let's look at more complex one in how many ways can the letters of the word statistics be arranged when all are taken at a time so if i have statistics how many i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten wow how many of the letters are identical i have x here which is appearing how many times one two and three i have t here which is appearing one two and three i have i which is appearing two times so you check all of them and now the formula will be after counting them 10 factorial over x is repeating how many of the s three so three factorial times T is repeating how many of them three three factorial times i is also repeating so you can count every one of them then you solve this you can point this on a calculator point fraction then 10 factorial over three factorial times three factorial times two factorial and this will give me fifty thousand four hundred okay so this is very very easy and very simple to do okay so when you are given a question to so just check is it repeating is there any objects that are identical no that is the that, that those are some questions you should be um asking yourself okay all right so conditional permutations all right so in some permutations there are some restricted conditions you must follow okay so some permutations will come and tell you that oh this person should sit in front this, this person should do this okay so some examples will help us understand it more okay let's let's start with an example Okay, find the number of arrangements of the letters of the word independence. And the question is, in how many of these arrangements 
i do the word start with p so the condition is no matter what we do in arranging these letters we should make sure that p will always be at the first position i don't know if you get it second one do all the vowels also always occur together so we should make sure that we call for all the vowels in this all the vowels are i e e e e we call all of them and we put them together so it's like you fix all the vowels and then you you permute it with the other ones okay the other letters let's look at the, th the third one is do the vowels never occur together okay so do the words begin with i and end with p so this condition is also saying that no matter what we do we should make sure that i will always be in front and p will always be at the end then how are you going to um, permute or arrange the rest of the letters okay let's look at the solution now the number of arrangements of the letters of the word this the first question was find the number of arrangements of the letters of the word this okay so look at it clearly is there some repetitions or some you know same identical elements here who are appearing more than once yes i have n which is appearing how many times one two three so i write but before you know that you can you count all these and you get 12 factorial over the ones that are repeating okay so three factorial then times then i come d d is repeating coming how many times one and two so times three factorial times two factorial then i come to e one two three four then times four factorial okay so that is it and after computing you are supposed to get this answer okay one million six hundred and sixty three thousand two hundred okay so the first condition let's look at the condition do the word start with p so it means that i should take p out of this okay and put p in the first position so how many ways do i have so if you remember the multiplication principle says that if you have um, an event occurring and there is a chance that m of the events will occur in a m way okay and the rest of the events will occur in n ways then you calculate for the number of ways you can do the first event or the events in m ways they multiply with what doing it in n ways i don't know if you remember okay so that is this. the same thing ap applies here so here they've given us a condition that no matter what we do p should be first so if i have only p how do i arrange only p i have only one chance so it becomes one then times after taking p out of this just delete p out of this what will you be left with be left with i n d e e n d e n e sorry n c e i'll be left with 11 of them then i'll consider how to arrange 11 of them if i take let's say p out the 11 of them i still have 11 total elements left but 11 i have i sorry i have n still repeating okay n n n okay and i have d also repeating so when you come you see that the n in the 11 element without p so from the this this is from the multiplication principle the ways of arranging p is one so we can one times arranging the rest the rest the 11 11 factorial from what we know from identical you know permutations this means that n was repeating three uh, three times and our d was two times and our e is four times in the remaining 11 elements okay so you still compute how to arrange that 11 elements and then you multiply with arranging only p then this will give me that okay now they are saying that in the case where vowels are all together okay so if the vowels are all together how do i solve this okay so it becomes like treating all these together as in i e e e e the vowels are the i e e e i don't know if you know them these are the vowels i e e e e okay so i continue by saying this that i have to arrange only the vowels okay how do i arrange the vowels hence when they occur together the arrangement alone is given by 5 factorial over 4 factorial 
why because in this there is e repeating four times and only this but how many do i have here i have five so it becomes five factorial over four factorial which in computation will give me five and arranging the letters of the word independent given that the vowels occur together is given by so if the vowels occur together this is how it means it means that i as as like we are seeing this as if all the vowels are one so you treat only the vowels as one variable okay so it means if i take the vowels out i'll be left with n d p n d n okay c the e's will be gone and the i's will be gone these are the, the e's and the i's so the remaining will be this n d then i have to count the remaining the remaining will be one two three four five six seven well the i the let's see n is one d is two p is three four five six seven okay so you'll be left with seven elements but mind you we are treating all these as what one so you can you can just let the whole of this be equal to x and attach it to it and it becomes eight because you are seeing the vowels to be one just one just like that and so in combination of them just one with the remaining seven we get what eight elements i hope you get it right so arranging this combining this as one with the seven elements become a factorial over the ones that are repeated here we won't consider e e e because you, we are seeing e and i to be just one something like let's say x and come and add it to these so it will reduce to something like n d p n d n c x where the x will be i e e e so in arranging that you know that n will be repeating in a new word and that will be n is repeating three times and d will still be repeating so we arrange that one alone and this is what we get and multiply it by arranging the vowels okay from multiplication principle okay so that is it and this will give you a cool answer like this the third one a total number of arrangements without any restriction okay minus the number of arrangements where all the vowels occur together so the third one was that uh, like um, we should find the number of ways where the vowels are never occur together so from mathematics you know mathematics you can generate any equation like that if only it makes sense okay now we know that the number of ways of um, arranging the elements when the vowels are together and the question is you're supposed to arrange the element when the vowels are not together but we know the total arrangement of the elements we know them that is it that is what we did in the first solution this one okay and we know the arrangement of the elements when the vowels are together is also this so what will be left if i subtract this from the total arrangement then what i will get will be when the vowels are not together i hope this is cool right then that will give me the answer to be simply one um, one million six hundred and forty six thousand four hundred okay this is very cool now this is the fourth one let's just go and see the question in how many of these arrangements do the words begin with i and n in p okay so if the words are supposed to be begin with i look at it here i have to restrict i to be here how many ways do i have to arrange i i have one i have to jump this p to the end how many ways do i have to arrange p at the end i have just one way then the remaining is to arrange the rest of the numbers and now if i pick i and p out i will leave it n d e e n d e n c e again okay how many will be left one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i'll be left with 10 factorial over the repetitions of the, those inside the new letter so it becomes so n will be repeating three times then d will be repeating two times and our e still will be repeating four times so it becomes 
the number of arranging arrangement of the i which is in the beginning that will be one times arranging the rest when we have faced i and p at the end that is it you can you can when you are when you are learning this you can write it okay when they say you, you should face p at the end and i at the beginning you can just write something smaller than that i first then you write the, the remaining and you jump from p then you put p at the end you will see what i'm trying to say okay all right let's look at combination okay permutation and combination they always go work together so combination is the selection of a number of objects when the order sorry here should be o d e r the order should be o r d e r sorry 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 okay so it's a selection of a number of objects when the order oh sorry when the order of the arrangement is not important so look at this clearly combination is mainly about selection and we don't care about the order okay we don't really care about the order so let's start the number of combinations of a set of n different objects taking r at the time is given by n combination r and this formula is <coughs> expressed as n factorial over r factorial into n minus r or factorial okay so how do you go about this all right i hope you know but note this that n combination r is the same as n combination n minus r okay they are the same so i'll prove these on in in our previous our next videos not in this video so examples are one in how many ways can a football team be selected from a class of 20 students so here they didn't say we should arrange it think like they just take take care of um, um, the sentences in permutations and combinations almost all the time combination will come with selection and permutation will come with arrangement put it in your mind that almost all the time combination will come with selection and permutation will come with arrangement so whenever you see selection you think about combination but when you see arrangement you think about permutation all right so in how many ways can a football team be selected from a class of 20 students so this you think about what combination you use combination now the, com the combination is saying that you should have n different objects taking r at a time but there is no r here but i hope you can see the r right can you see our total number of students is 20 right we are forming a football team and a football team consists of how many elements 11 players so our r here is what 11 so it becomes 20 combination 11 and this using the formula this is why you have 20 factorial over 11 here the r here is 11 11 factorial then 20 minus 11 is what 9 factorial then this will give me um 167,960 ways okay all right the next question is in how many ways can four, bo four boys be chosen from six boys this one they've given us the r and the n so we are choosing four from six it means our six is the highest number that's the n so it becomes n six combination four again there is no way you will get um your n to be smaller than your r put that one to in mind there's no way you get your n to be smaller than your r the um, highest r you can get is when r is equal to n okay that would be n combination n and that is one always always all the time go look at if this n combination n is n factorial over n factorial again then n minus n which will give me zero factorial which is one then n will cancel n okay i've not written it here but you can try it on your for your own sheet and then you understand let's look at some solved exams questions here these are the things that i know people are still waiting for you are waiting for such questions right let's look at it in how many ways can a committee of three ladies and two men be selected from a group of seven ladies and five men okay look at the conjunction here is what end look at this clearly come here to end okay in mathematics and probability as well whenever you see end what do you do you multiply whenever you see all you add i've just given you a clue now but let's look at this if i'm to select 
um, if I'm to select three ladies, you see the committee is supposed to be comprised of what five people in all, three ladies and what two men. Cool, right? Now, if I'm to select three ladies from seven of the ladies, what will be the formula? The formula will be what the number of ways of selecting the ladies is what seven combination or three, and that is thirty-five ways. Now, the number of ways of selecting the men is what five combination two which is 10 ways so from the multiplication place uh, sorry from the multiplication principle we are saying that if i have m different ways of doing half of the events and n different way of doing half of the events and the total number of ways of doing the total event is what this number times this number and then it becomes what 35 times 10 that is 350 ways so from the principle of multiplication the number of ways of selecting the ladies and men happening at the same time is this I hope you get it right so that's why i said that the principle to, sorry principle of multiplication there is no way you should forget about it now another question is a committee of three persons is to be constituted from a group of two men and three women okay in how many ways can this be done so just, they just this question it just came straight away like that in how many ways can this be done how many of these committees would consist of one man and two women all right so looking at the first one we have committee the total number that we want for the committee is three and the number of people available is two men and three women which will give me what five okay so in general if i want to do this then it's the same as five combination three okay so the total number of people is two plus three which is equal to five and the number of ways of selecting three members out of this number is five coming because this is just general in how many ways can this be done they didn't specify any condition on it okay now ways of selecting women is when you come to the second one ways of selecting women is what three combination two which is equal to three and ways of selecting men is what two combination one i hope you get it because here they specify that one of them should be a man and two of them should be women so we have to select the two from the women and the women are what three so selecting two from them this is selection that we are doing so it becomes combination three combination two which is this and ways of selecting men is what two combination one and the hence the total number of selecting is what three which is this from the principle of multiplication times this two which is six this is pretty pretty much interesting right if you really follow it you can solve every question under this topic now conditional combinations all that we did yeah we did some conditions as well but let's let's probably properly do some uh, difficult conditional combinations and see some combinations comes with what conditions examples are a subcommittee of six including a chairperson a subcommittee of six including a chair so the committee with the chairperson all of them should be what six is to be formed from a main committee so we have a main committee of 12 members there okay if the chairperson is to be a specified member of the main committee in how many ways can the subcommittee be chosen so look at it we want six people from this 12 people and now we are saying that one of the people is the chairperson one of the six people that we want is the chairperson but this chairperson should be a specified member so we know him or you know here that exactly this person will be the chairperson we won't deliberate on who will be the chairperson no we know that this person is the chairperson of the subcommittee and if this person is, is the chairperson of the subcommittee you know, automatically we do what we've selected that person so ways of selecting that person is just one now we're left with what five ways of let me read this for you we are to form a six member committee out of 12 members of which we have already selected the chairperson that's what this means okay we know the chairperson you are saying that the chairperson should be a specified member so already we know the chairperson then we are left with how to select the remaining five because we want to make six chair, uh, six committee members and it's what of the six we know that let's say um, john is the chairperson and john is part of the six automatically john has been selected now the rest of the five is a problem now then we are left with 
how to select the remaining five from the 11 members why because john was part of this we selected him out now we left with 11 and so we need um, john is part also part of this if you take john out we need five selections again from the 11 members remaining since our chairperson was selected from the main committee of 12 members hence from the multiplication rule we are seeing that ways of selecting john is one times ways of selecting the the remaining five this is cool right so if point just on a calculator this is what you get okay so there are 15 boys and 10 girls out of which a committee of three boys and two girls is to be formed find the number of ways in which this can be done if there is no restriction to a particular boy is included three a particular girl is excluded let's look at the question clearly we have 15 boys and 10 girls total how many 25 people and then we are, we are supposed to form three boys and two girls committee okay so the committee should consist of five members which th three of them will always be what boys and two of them will always be what girls if there are no restriction how do we go about it if there are no restriction we just calculate what number of ways of selecting or arranging sorry number of ways of selecting three boys from 15 boys will be what 15 combination three and that is 455 and ways of selecting girls is what 10 combination two which is 45 and with this with this from the multiplication rule i can just multiply this one and this one that will give, give me what 455 times 45 which is 20,475 ways now let's look at the second one when a particular boy is included it means we have automatically selected one boy and so we are left with how to select two boys out of 14 remaining boys and also how to select the girls okay so if i include one particular boy in the committee then it means that from these boys so then it means that i have automatically selected him and when i select one boy out of the 15 boys, I'll be, I'll be left with 14 boys and yes so i need three of the boys to form the committee before the com committee will be complete i need three of the boys i've selected one how, how many do i need again i need two but now i'm i'm supposed to select the two from what 14 of them now we have one times 14 combination two that is the number of ways of selecting one of the boys one and the number of ways of selecting two boys out of 50, uh, 14 boys is what 14 combination two number of ways of selecting two boys out of um two boys out of 10 uh, sorry two girls out of 10 girls is 10 combination two and this will give me what this this is really really interesting right so you think about the question bring it to your own understanding then you solve it okay now when a particular girl is included excluded then it means that the total number of girls will reduce by one it means if i have 10 girls and i'm saying that sack one of them take one of them out <coughs> there's no way I'll, in, I'll include her to the committee it means that she has no if even if she's part there's no chance of her being selected okay so i have to take her out and if i take her out i'll be left with how many nine of the girls remaining and then we need two girls still three boys so we, we do our way way of um, selecting boys that will be 15 combination three times now the girls are reduced to what nine become nine combination two which will give me what sixteen thousand three hundred and eighty ways that is pretty cool right so let's look at the last question then we are done for the day okay this question is very very interesting what is the number of ways of choosing four cars from a pack of 52 playing cars in how many of these then the conditions was that four in how many of these sorry in how many of these four cars are of the same suit in how many of these four cars belong to the four different four different suits and how many of these are face cars in how many of these two are red cars and two are black cars and in how many of these cars are of the same color to the Ghanaian guys 
I know that this card that we are talking about is what we call the spa. Most of us call it the spa that we are going to play spa, yeah. So bring your mind to the spa level. And if you understand cards to playing cards, then it's okay. So, answers. The required number of ways of choosing four cards without any restriction is. So, if you are playing spa, if you are playing playing cards, how many cards do you have? You have 13 of each of the colors, okay? We have spade, we have um, hearts, we have club, and we have the diamond, okay? Then, 13 of them. And they are four they are four seats so that will give us 52 so in selecting choosing four cards or selecting four cards from a pack of 52 of them you can 52 combination what's four all right and this is very simple now let's look at the first one we have four seats diamond club spade heart and there are 13 cards of each seat hence four four sorry here there should be um a four here f o r hence for all of the four cards to be of the same series is it that they will all be diamond that means is it that we choose them from diamond alone or we choose them from club alone or we choose them from speed alone or we choose them from hot heart alone remember when you started i said that in probability or in mathematics when you say or or it means you are adding so it means you first do for the diamond then this all means plus you do for the club plus you do for the spade then you do for the odd hat number of ways of choosing four cards from each of them each of them is 13. the number of ways of choosing four cards from each of them will be the same 13 combination four because for diamond it will be 13 combination four for club it will be the same thing for this so what you do is what you sum them because of the or oh, oh. yeah that is true because is either I choose all the four from the diamond, or I choose all the four from all the club, or I choose all the, and because of that, we have this plus that plus that plus that, and that will give me what, 2,860 ways. Let's look at the second one. Four cards belong to four different seats. So it means I should choose one from each of the seats, because we have four seats. There are 13 cards for the different seats, for the different four seats, okay? All the four seats has 13 cards. For each of the four cards to be from a diff to be from a different seat, you must choose one from each seat. But the number of ways of choosing one from each seat is given by what 13 combination one. And then, if that is the case, how many ways do we, do we um choose from the first card that is the diamond is this 13 combination one. And for the spade, the same thing, for the heart, the same thing, for the club, the same thing. From the principle of multiplication, we say that we multiply the final answer um, of all of them, and then this will give us 28,561 ways. Okay, let's look at this. The third one is each of the suits has three faces. Um, let's go and see the third question. Okay, we see that in how many of these four cars are face cars? Okay, I want to choose four cars from. The whole of this 52 and the four cards i want to choose we want to choose all the four cards to be face cards okay when i say face card the guys will understand the king the queen and then the g i don't know the names it depends on how you call them the king queen and the j okay those are the cards that we are talking about those are the ones that are having pictures on it so the faces cards are these so for all of the four seats for the diamond it has its own three of these for the speed it has its own three of these so it means in total we have 12 face cards in all the of the 52 this thing um cards and you are supposed to choose from these 12 face cards four of them so this time our sample space reduces to 12 and becomes 12 combination four which is equal to 295 ways okay let's look at the fourth one we are saying that two of the cards should be red and two of them should be hot black you see there's an end here so this should be red and this should be black so if that is the case 26 of the cards are red because for the both um, the spade and the rest running through we have only black and red colors okay 
and if you can bear with me we have two red suits and we have two black suits i mean two of the suit the diamond i don't know the actual i've forgotten but two of them has red colors and two of the suits also has black colors this means that we have in total 26 red cars and we have 26 black cars then two red and two black will give us what selecting 26 uh, two from 26 that will be 26 combination two times 26 combination what two and this will give me this 105,625 ways okay and last one is um Let's go and see the question. In how many of these cars are of the same color? So you should choose and make sure that the cars are of the same color. Now, like I said, the colors are out red and black. So if I choose from red alone, I will choose four colors from red alone. And in doing so, uh, so the um, red number of colors or the number of red colors is what? 26 so it becomes 26 combination 4 and the black will also be 26 combination 4 so you see that i choose from the 20 the red i choose all the four from the red or i choose all the four from the black so because of the all that is inside it we do what we do that is it um you then either choose four cards which are red or you will choose four cards which are black in either way the number of ways we can choose is what 26 combination 4 and in doing so, because of this all that we use to conclude our statement, we will add the two of them. And this will be 26 combination 4 plus 26 combination 4, which is 29,900 ways. Okay. So thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't.